All right, what's going on, guys? It's Wonderfist here, and today we're going to be talking about um, life after Revelations, I guess you could say. Um, DLC 5, you know, Origins, particularly Origins. I want to talk about some interesting things that we've been hearing on Origins. Well, not me. I'm on Xbox. i got to wait until June 15th or whenever. I don't know when exactly it's coming out, but... Um, <clears throat> Yeah, just uh, overall, you know, the things that we've been hearing. I'm just going to say we to keep it short. You know, the things we've been hearing on Origins, especially, there's some interesting things. You know, there's some interesting things that shouldn't exactly be there. Um, and it's got the community thinking uh, about multiple things. Um, so, on Origins, we hear quotes from DMC and Rick Coffin, you know, when they pack a punch. And they're kind of out of place. So... First off, you need to know what happens at the end of the Revelations ending cutscene uh, in order to understand what I'm talking about. So, at the end of the Revelations cutscene, uh, Monty wipes our characters from existence. Rick Toff and Takio, DMC, Nikolai, they get wiped from existence. Um, and therefore, restarting the cycle, um, our characters start over as premise. That's why you see at the end of the cutscene, our characters wielding the staffs because the cycle restarts. Uh, they needed the blood vials. They drank the blood vials uh, from the transit crew and the mob of the dead crew. Uh, uh, they stayed in the in the perfect world, and it created a paradox that Monty did not like. He wipes them from existence. They're gone now. They start over. But what the blood vials allowed them to do was to keep their memory. They remember things, and that explains why we're hearing this thing, these things in Origins. DMC sometimes when you pack a bunch with him, he says. Huh, do I still got the blood vials or something like that? He asks himself, does he have the blood vials? And if you look on his character in Origins and DLC 5, he does not have blood vials. Therefore, that's a memory that he's remembering from our BL3 storyline. Um, Rick Toffin mentions Monty. You know, he in the original Origins, he did not know who Monty was. You know, he didn't. He, he talks about hearing his voice and all that stuff. Um, that definitely was not in the original Origins. You know, he did not even know who Monty was at the time. Um, they talk about the cobwebs being on the gobblegum machine in Tetsubo no Shima. You know, um, they talk about having to, if I'm pretty sure someone said they have to, they talk about having to survive in Tetsubo no Shima by eating spider meat. You know, they was, they was stranded, you know, and all that stuff. It's just like, you know, weird things that, you know, even that, we didn't know them having to survive and eat spider meat, you know, this, all this stuff. It was you know, really weird. And what exactly is our characters experiencing the 1.0s, you know, in World at War and BL1? In the original maps, the gobblegum machine obviously wasn't there. There's things in these new maps that wasn't there. And so many people believe that this is Monty kind of rewriting things, in a sense. Keeping things, you know, this is Jason Blendo saying, hey, the old stuff that you did still matters because it does. The storyline of these maps are the same. That's why the Easter eggs are the same. But there's many new things. You know, but Rick Toffel 1.0 mentioning Monty. That was never that was never said before. That was never a thing. You know, so obviously there's a distinctive there between those two people. The original 1.0 that we played as and the 1.0 in DLC 5. There's some kind of difference there because he mentions Monty, mentions all these things, and... They really shouldn't, you know, because like that wasn't how it was in the original. So there's a there's really a, there's a difference there. Um, everyone in the community has kind of just said that they think the next game is going to be about, be about breaking this paradox, you know, that happens at the end of this Revelations cutscene on the timeline. The last thing about Revelations, the last line says the paradox must be resolved. So that definitely could be, and probably will be. What our story like? What our storyline in the next game revolves around? I'm also gonna be making a video about Mob of the Dead uh, and uh, kind of the story of that map. Uh, what's gonna be going on in the next version? Because we are gonna be getting Mob of, a Mob of the Dead again. Are we gonna be playing as our original characters in the next game? I don't think so. I think we're gonna have four new characters, but I think that you know we're gonna be using the summoning key somehow. We're gonna get the summoning key, um, and uh, again, we gotta break this paradox. You know, we gotta break it and. Um, we'll see where that leads. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to end the video because I'm going to go give Jason Blendell's butt cheek a slap. 